Welcome back to Farm Life Outfitters. I'm Adam. I'm Michelle. And today is day nine of No Spin November. We've almost made it a third of the way. Yep, and we've we're running out of groceries. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't. The kids don't quite understand that we're trying to ration our food, but. Well, we're not running out of like. We have meals. food. Yeah, we have food. We just don't have apples and Snacks. oranges and cheese and things like that the things they love snacky foods yeah yeah so how are you feeling about no spend november um i feel good i mean it hadn't really been a struggle at all yet i mean how is the gas in your car <laughs> there's probably three quarters of a tank in both yeah. cars yeah that's what i was about to say yeah but the suburban holds more so that'll be yeah. We'll just switch vehicles if the if van runs to. out. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> I mean, we usually uh, go about two weeks anyway on groceries and that kind of thing. Yeah. That's kind of our normal grocery cycles every two weeks as far as going to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Sometimes every month, or, you know, if we really stock up. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, back in like March or something. I mean, we didn't go to the grocery store for two solid months. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Forgot about that. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> well, we started this video two days ago. Yeah. Yeah, we had to take some time off from making videos. Yeah, so, we're, we're, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we were uh, super busy on Saturday and, and then Sunday, yesterday we needed a break and so yeah. we didn't do anything yesterday just sat around and cooked on the grill yeah and that's about it yeah so um yeah we started this and i and i i was doing the video i think it was i think saturday i filmed a little bit i think that's when i filmed it was either friday yeah. or saturday anyways and um so we've missed a couple of days um but we're back at it and hopefully we can do daily videos if we can but thank y'all for having grace with us when we can't yeah it's um, hard it's it very hard. difficult to make to make the videos is hard work not hard work but it's difficult and then it, and then when you try to do it every day it's uh it's challenging yeah yeah so kudos to our friends who do daily videos yeah year round mm -hmm. like goodness okay so what do we do today What'd you do today? I helped you a little tiny bit with the high tunnel this afternoon, but most of the day I was working on a presentation for one of my classes I'm teaching. Yeah. So. Yeah, we've been working on the high tunnel some today. I had a few more pipes to bend and um, some tree limbs to cut, which was interesting. I had to climb up in the tree to cut the limbs. <laughs> Scared the children a little bit. <laughs> they came, came in and told on him. And then we put all the hoops up, and then uh, Michelle and I were starting on the bracing on one of the hoops. So that's coming along nicely. The high tunnel, it's going to be nice to have, isn't it? Mm -hmm. To be able to extend our tomato season. Mm -hmm. I guess we should do a video sometime on, on the high tunnel, shouldn't we? Yeah. Like sourcing all the pieces. and. Yeah, so I, I don't know if we've mentioned that before. Uh, we mentioned it on our podcast, I know, but um, yeah, there, we had the option, or Adam had the option of either buying a kit that was ready to go, all the pieces yeah. there, instructions and all that stuff on how to put it together, mm -hmm. um, but he took the harder route and decided to piece it together, source it from different places himself, which was like a significant price difference. Yeah. Yeah, it cost, so, the cost is a third of what the kit cost. Yeah. So, yeah, we should do that so that mm -hmm. you guys know where we've gotten stuff just to give you ideas if, in case that's something you want to do in the future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just having to figure it out. Figure out how to fasten things and make it work. Yeah. I like that better. I don't. Close your eyes.
Well, today's tip is uh, to buy things in bulk, um, which we we've, we've gotten pretty good at over the years. And you always say that I'm I'm better at it than you yeah. are. Yeah, I yeah I'll have my grocery budget usually if we're talking about groceries, and so it just in my mind it helps me to think like I have a hundred dollars to spend this week on groceries, so I'm gonna go spend under a hundred dollars and get just like one of everything that we need or something and then um if he goes to the grocery store he'll get two or three weeks worth because he'll buy several um of everything and you know the kids are always excited but that just means they go through it faster probably because yeah. we get more yeah um but the kids get real excited when daddy <clears throat> goes grocery shopping because you know yeah <laughs> I do like to buy in bulk. Yeah. I mean, if we have extra money, why not buy things we're going to use anyway? Yeah. But. That's true. Um, and then we talked about on our podcast that you, you know, you actually save in two ways by buying bulk. You, you save sometimes, you know, the, the bigger quantity that you get, it's discounted. The price is already discounted from wherever you're buying it from. Mm -hmm. Um, and also, you're you're making less trips to to get things mm -hmm. if you buy in bulk. So yeah, um, you save on gas that way or whatever mm -hmm. and time and stuff. So I usually buy our, our animal feed in bulk. Mm -hmm. I'll just load up the truck with however much the truck will haul, and um, it usually lasts anywhere from two to three months, typically. Yeah, one, one load of feed. Yeah. We started buying several things in bulk. Mm hmm You know, toilet paper, yeah. you know, that kind of stuff. We were buying in bulk. Yeah, we were buying like, I don't even know how many rolls of toilet paper come in those big boxes. Mm hmm And this a was lot. like way before, you know, the virus stuff and people were... That's right, because we had a two or three month supply when, when it ran out, didn't mm -hmm. we? Yeah. And that was just, it was just easier for us. It was the, the brand of toilet paper that we prefer anyways and it was like the industrial pack you know yeah. like for businesses or whatever but um uh something else that we've started buying in bulk uh for is the azure standard yeah so the food a good quality food with azure standard which mm -hmm. we've talked about before on our channel but um there's a link in our description for that if you want to check them out um they have drops all over the country and um so maybe you can find one near you and um it's just good quality food that's sourced um responsibly and um you can get a lot of organic a lot of raw um stuff and um yeah so they have like different quantities you can get either like one pack of cheese that's like you know a little block of cheese or you can get like mm -hmm. 40 pounds 40 pounds of cheese you yeah. know or something like that and it you know it's significantly less you know price wise yeah per ounce or whatever you know the more you get i remember our last our last pickup day someone bought like two or three hundred pounds of carrots you remember, yeah remember that yeah and just big huge they were 50 pound bags of carrots mm. never seen anything like that yeah so and yeah, and sometimes like Azure will have sales too on things, and so sometimes oh, people, I didn't know that. yeah, sometimes people will stock up on things that go on sale. Yeah, too. It's a good good thing to check out for yeah. sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that uh, in buying in bulk, you have to do a little bit of planning. You know, you have to figure out how long how long things can last. That's one thing. Like animal feed, ground animal feed is not going to last forever. So I've yeah. thought about that before. Yeah, you don't want it to go to waste. Yeah. Um, if something were to happen yep. to it or whatever. Yep. And you don't want to just buy in bulk and things that you don't necessarily use a lot of either. Yeah. We've done that before with yeah. food. You know, we bought a lot of dried beans and stuff, and mm -hmm. uh, it's still stored. Some, you know, yeah. stored. We haven't really used a lot of it. We're starting to go through it though. Mm -hmm. Just to get it, just to use it. But. Yep. I know there's tons of videos out there on how to do that, you know, food storage and mm -hmm. rotation and all that kind of good stuff. We're not very good at that. No, it's not our strong point. We like to store our food out in the field. <laughs> yeah. Kind of, it's out there for when we need it. 
yeah i'm i'm not the best preserver i want to get better at it um but i'm really not i'm not a very good preserver i love the summer where we we can just walk outside and pick everything mm -hmm. we need for supper and yeah come in and cook it you know i love that and now that we have a high tunnel we can do that for a little longer yeah the slab is poured now for my father-in-law's house behind our house and the kids are thoroughly enjoying using it they have been so excited about it and um so i'm gonna show you what they've been up to and then um, i've been cooking i've got my apron on i've been cooking and uh, we're gonna eat supper and then we are going down the road um, just a couple miles to my friend Shannon's house. Uh, her farm is called Brave Acre. It's a cut flower farm and she has a gift shop and everything on site. And um, she has started something called the URA Homestead Gathering where um, different people in the community who are either already homesteading, farming, or want to can come together and just meet each other and kind of... Um, you know network and lock arms with each other and learn together so uh, we're having a meeting tonight and our good friends mike and lacey dixon from the fit farmer are going to be speaking so we're excited about that that they're in our neighborhood um and we're just really excited so i hope we'll get some footage from that as well to show you oh, he's trying to open it this way but it's actually closing it all right i'm ready bud Go! Guys, watch out! Go. In the middle. Honey, go. One, two, three, four, five, go. <laughs> hey, let's all have a race. Yeah. Oh, let's not do that. That scares mommy. Let's have a race, buddy. You get in the middle. No, come over here, buddy. video where I you know we we're having a pretty rough day where I crashed the drone and almost broke my foot um, but thankfully my foot is not broken and it's much better mm -hmm. it's uh, it's really not bruised that bad and I'm, I'm thankful for the healing essential oils that you have <laughs> yeah he said what'd you tell your dad I had some I, I had some know. what'd you call them some miracle oils. Some miracle oils that I put on his foot. Yeah. And it like did not bruise where I put the oils and it bruised like all around where I mm -hmm. put the oils. It's crazy. And stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's like a ring of bruise around it, but in the middle where it was painful and, and you put the oils, there's no mm -hmm. bruise. Yeah. That's interesting, isn't it? It is. And we did the, we did the comfrey a couple of times. Yeah. I put comfrey in my sock all mm -hmm. day on Saturday. Yeah. So that was a little weird. <laughs> yeah. So I'm glad you're feeling better. The drone's still broken. Yep. The drone's broken. What are we gonna do about the drone? Do you know? It needs a part. I just We can't order it yet. Just waiting until December to order it. Yeah. Um so there it's not like anything you can try to fix without that part? I mean, I could try, but I'd hate to be flying it and it break again. Break again, yeah. Okay. So that's where we are. All right, well, thank you guys for joining us today for No Spin November, and we will see you tomorrow. All right. Bye.